How did it happen that the world's best middle distance runners come from the same village in Ethiopia with 30,000 inhabitants? How come that the world's best footballers in history come from Brazil? Why do you think that the best tennis players in the world come from Russia? And how did it happen that one athletic club in Kingston, Jamaica has produced more or less the world's best sprinters, the fastest people on earth? And finally, why do you think that there's one Kenyan tribe that produced all gold medals ever at the Olympics in 3000 meter stipple chase? For six intense months, I traveled around the world to live and train in these gold mines. I played football with the boys of the Brazilian favelas. I trained with the Russian female tennis players and I ran with the Kenyans 3000 meters above sea level. And I'm gonna tell you that if you really want to know how it feels to get your ego massively destroyed by 14 year old teenage girls, you should go to E10 in Kenya and go for a run and you will quickly know. When we look at these gold mines of super talents, we think that they must have some genetic advantage or they must have just much better facilities than we have. There is no evidence for that. I mean, talent exists for sure, but it exists everywhere. Even all the scientists agree today that the Kenyans do not have a genetic advantage. So, so stop using that as an excuse. With the facilities, I mean, I can tell you, I came out 5.30 in the morning to MVP track and field club in Jamaica. And I looked around and the first thing I thought was, where the hell is the running track? All I saw was a big grass field. And I told my taxi driver, please wait for 10 minutes because I think you drove me to the wrong address. And 10 minutes later, I realized that I was exactly where I was supposed to be. We think they train in luxury, fancy facilities. They train on a diesel scorched grass track and in a gym back from the Schwarzenegger days, rusty weights. So I'm, I'm asking Stephen Francis, the big head coach of MVP track and field club, why are you not building a proper running track? And then he says the biggest mistake you do in the US and Europe building talent environments is that you think you need luxury, fancy facilities. You don't. A performance and talent environment should not be designed for comfort. It should be designed for hard work. So he uses the facilities, Spartan and simple facilities, to basically get the answer to the most important question. Who wants it most? Because if you're driven by facilities and glamour, you'll never go there. If you're driven by uh, improving and getting better today than you did yesterday, it might be the right place for you. So the discussion about gold mines is a discussion about belief. What do you really think is possible? And in Kenya, you see the reasons for why it is possible every single day. In our part of the world, we sometimes only see the reasons for why it is not possible.